Thanks for watching. Today we're painting the G Mate Buffalo, the GS02F. Ah, I have a manual. Thanks for watching. Today we're painting up the G Mate GS02F Buffalo, which is, of course, a, a, a blazer. I have test fitted all of the body accessories except for the roof rack. Despite it coming with a roof rack that looks uh, well pretty okay, I'm not quite sure if I want to use it. So those holes I have not uh, drilled yet. I have cleaned this uh, body. Cleaning the body is of course really important. And right now I'm uh, kind of mapping out this paint scheme. I don't have a real uh, good plan of what I actually want to do on this uh, truck. So I'm kind of winging it and uh, winging it can be a lot of fun. So what I took as inspiration is kind of uh, a Desert Fox paint scheme which I found on the internet which is basically a straight line going over the side that wraps over the hood or over the bonnet wherever you're from and then continues over the other side. And when I was mapping it out and when I had those lines over the bonnet I thought you know what it might actually be fun if they go from narrow to wide on the side and then also maybe if I manage to sort of braid them over the side. So what I want to do is I want this narrow line that goes in the bottom to go up over the roof and to then connect to the other side and I want to do something similar with this uh, second line. I want that to appear like it sort of like moves up. Now I'm not going to overcomplicate this with uh, pinstripes and stuff like that. So I really want to focus on those lines. Keep those as clean as, po clean as possible. Also on uh, of course the windows and the window trim to see if I can keep that as clear as possible. And my main focus is actually going to be color use. Which I think can be pretty important in making a truck like this pop. So the first thing we need to figure out is what type of background color we need to use. But before it's uh, at that stage, I still have some cut work to do, so I'm going to focus on that first. something a bit special something that I did a lot back in the day which is I'm gonna put a fade on the side and it's not like a crazy fade where I'm gonna go from like purple to blue or uh, purple to orange or anything dumb like that I'm just gonna have a really subtle nuance difference so I'm gonna go from uh, having a metallic orange on top I will make sure that during the paint process you will see all of these numbers uh, appear in the bottom of the screen as I've been doing recently just so you have all the ingredients for your uh, paint scheme. But I'm going to use a metallic orange on the top and then on the very bottom of the shell I'm going to use a copper. Now this copper is also, it doesn't really show on the lip, but this is actually also my metallic uh, color. Uh, great color by the way to use in combination with this uh, orange. Uh, and what that does is it gives it a bit more of a, a curve feel. Uh, it doesn't exactly curve the body of course, but it makes the body look more sleek by stretching the, the line over the side. If you wouldn't do it, you would have a body that would look terribly flat. Now this is already a pretty boxy body and putting a fade in like that really kind of a ch tones that down and uh, it gives it a bit more of a curvy, bit more of a sexy appearance. So I'm going to use that here as well in the full size car world. That type of fade is actually uh, known as the Foos fade because it's actually Chip Foos who used this type of fade uh, as a first to uh, curve bodies a bit that would look otherwise flat just to make them look lower, meaner and uh, a bit sleeker. So I want to do that here as well. And on the topper I'm not sure yet what I want to do if I want to paint that copper or perhaps just go with like a solid black. I guess we will find that out. That's the fun part about painting is you can just Make it up as you go. I do know that I want to have that uh, background color in that uh, metallic orange just because that's a really great color. It's also one of the most recent colors released by uh, Tamiya. 
um, and putting that on will already make the body pop and we will just see from there what will happen. so far so I got uh, the metallic orange on I got the copper on in the bottom you can barely see that uh, the difference there now the only thing that I have left to do are basically these uh, solid stripes apart from uh, what I want to do perhaps on the outside of the body by using this uh, clear film but uh, the majority of the stuff is actually done so I also um, did all the black in the window trims I still have some silver to do so what I'm going to use there is actually a silver anodized aluminum. After that I will back that with some, uh, some more black. You can tell that uh, it is pretty much filled in but uh, just to add a bit more black over there it doesn't hurt. Uh, and after that I will uh, go over to those lighter tones. So uh, everything that I want to fill in on those uh, stripes. Well let's uh, continue.
well there was a whole box of tricks again once I mounted the body accessories on the body I did find the grill exceptionally shiny and a bit too blingy so what I actually did is I put a strip of white on there and you can also tell that this body is currently licensed because there's actually a Chevrolet logo on there what I did is I rummaged through my sticker drawer found a Chevrolet logo stuck it on there on that uh, strip of white just to take some of the shine off of that uh, grill. I also put a Chevrolet logo on the back. I had uh, a Proline Chevy C10 sticker sheet laying around with all the correct logos and all the correct sizes as well for those logos. So uh, adding those branding uh, items on the, on the body I do think makes a bit of a difference. I hope this gives you a better idea on how to do a really subtle fade. Fades don't have to be like super aggressive going from green to orange or from like purple to white or uh, whatever it can be really in the same tone sort so that's also what I did over here going from that orange to that uh, copper and I do think that it makes a huge difference you will see the same if you apply for example a uh, dark blue metallic and you fade it to a uh, regular blue metallic as long as you have the darkest color on the bottom that fade will really uh, pop and it will really pull off the effect that you want to have that foos fade um, I think in addition over here with uh, those retro stripes if you paint those a solid color so not a metallic color but like real solid nice crisp color that you will have something that will really pop and look retro so that's also what I did over here initially I wanted to go with like for example a red or perhaps a yellow but then you are at risk of ending up with like an Ivan Stewart type of paint job and since this is not a Toyota but a Chevy I wanted to avoid that so I went all crazy went with a purple and a pink and a white and I think that it looks actually pretty good um, now if you take the extra time and you add some uh, some flat clear like I did over here on the topper but in addition if you go try your hand at some of those uh, shut lines uh, I think it's really a lot of fun if you manage to pull those off especially on peeling the clear film because you're really peeling the film per body panel and having those shot lines just add a little something extra to look at and it's those type of uh, details especially of course on a trail truck on a crawler whatever you want to call it uh, on a trail truck that really sort of like attracts the eye and makes it look different than well perhaps what your friends are uh, running so go have some fun with it it's never uh, uh, like the end of the world if you don't manage to pull it off because you can always buy a new body and have some more fun with your next shell. Just hone your skills, see what you can come up with. Now, if you are not subscribed yet, please do because it is free. If you are subscribed, hit the bell. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section because I always reply. Uh, and if you want to have more information about the GMAP Buffalo, go check out the link in the video description box. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay safe, have fun, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Back on.